happy weekend, everybody. So today is Saturday. This hat looks ridiculous on me. I forgot my sunglasses and need something to cover my face. I think it's appropriate for what we're doing anyways. So I actually found a family farm about an hour away from where we live and they just opened up their pick your own crops. They usually have it open year round but they didn't have it open because of the situation that's going on and then they reopened it and said that they're going to take all precautions. You're gonna have to wear your mask, social distancing. We're going right when it opens so hopefully there's not that many people out. We wanna get some fresh fruit and some fresh food so I just think it's honestly safer than going to the grocery store with in an, in an enclosed space with a bunch of people and I grew up in 4-H so I thought it would be a nice way to support my local farmers and just get some fresh produce so that is what we're doing today. to do so I'm gonna do that first and then we're gonna wash our produce and then I'm gonna eat some lunch Ryan's just talking to his parents on FaceTime they went for a drive because they were sick of being indoors so they just went on a little drive and we're just talking to them all right that's it for right now while I do the dishes Ryan is peeling some bananas for frozen bananas for our smoothies we are just getting our lives together this weekend aren't we all of this produce is under 20 bucks we have some hand-picked carrots which smell divine if you've never smelled hand fresh picked carrots you must then we have five avocados here and one two three four buckets of strawberries well baskets of strawberries that are the juiciest fruitiest most delicious strawberries i have ever ate so now we got to wash these i'm gonna take my vegetable wash from trader joe's i also like the young living thieves vegetable and fruit wash i'm going to put only a few drops and then i will massage the strawberries within the wash let it sit there for a second, let the dirt pile to the bottom, and then I'll re-rinse them in my little colander. Herby carrots. They're not very sweet. I like them a lot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We go back there. I need to get some more of these. We also went to Trader Joe's this week, and I did see slim pickings of some flowers, but I did pick up a few. I got some lavender, some eucalyptus. I might put this in my shower, or also add it into my little bouquet, and then some beautiful baby's breath that I'm just gonna kind of throw together in a mason jar and put it on my console table or my coffee table. Actually, I don't drink coffee, so tea table in my living room. Okay, so so far I had the lavender and baby's breath in there, and so far I think it's looking pretty good. I just don't know if I should put the eucalyptus in as well. Maybe I'll try a few pieces and see, but I kind of just like the slim piss, simplicity. <laughs> slim piss, oh my gosh, I really can't say it. Slim 
simplicity of the flowers together like this. Um, I also could just put this in my shower. So let's try it. If not, I'll just hang these in my shower and give myself some spa vibes in there. Between the eucalyptus and the lavender in here, I literally have a spa in my kitchen. All right, so we're going to just put this in on the side just to kind of give us an idea of what it will look like. These lavender little, I guess, what are they? They're not flowers, maybe they are. They are all over the place. Um, yeah, okay, so this would obviously be cut down some. I don't know, I think I just like it, just the baby's bath and lavender. I'm gonna save this for my shower. All right, so we're in my shower. This is the old dried out eucalyptus. We're just gonna take this from the top, give it a little yanky yank. Oh my gosh, it's very brittle, I need two hands. Hold, please. So there's different kinds of eucalyptus. I personally like the, is that the seeded eucalyptus for bouquets? I think, yeah, this is the kind that I like for bouquets. The silver, no, this is silver dollar eucalyptus, I think. Oh gosh, I'm not a garden person. I just like looking at flowers and pretending like I'm totally a horticulturist, but I'm not. Anyways, so there's certain kinds, like this eucalyptus that I just tossed here on my floor is not something I would want in my wedding bouquet. Excuse my dirty clothes. But this kind, this fallen silver dollar, is what I like. I believe that in my bouquet, it wasn't what I wanted from what I recall. Still looked beautiful, but it wasn't the exact eucalyptus that I had hoped for. Still looked gorgeous, like I said, so I'm just gonna pop this up here, and I'll meet you guys back in a second. Voila, here we go. All right, so the fresh eucalyptus is up. Basically, the reasoning for this is one, it just looks really cute and aesthetically pleasing. Two, when it's really hot in your shower, it actually gets the oils from the eucalyptus to start seeping through to make it smell spa-like. Do I smell it a lot? Eh. Do I love the way it looks? Sure do. But truly, if you're trying to get a eucalyptus scent in your shower, just pop some essential oils, just throw it onto the walls, and your shower will automatically smell like a eucalyptus heaven. Stormy, are you hungry? You want your foodies? Yes? You ready? Okay. Okay, <laughs> she just went. <laughs> okay, you really are hungry. I'm gonna put the camera down now. You cute to see you the whole wide world. Good morning. I dropped the ball yesterday and I fell asleep really early which i never do but basically yesterday i just watched outer banks which is so good if you have not seen it it's exactly what i want in a tv show and then i caught up on some episodes of all american this morning is mother's day morning so happy mother's day to all the moms out there my mom and i are going to go live on instagram i think around 10 o'clock and we're going to make some of my creamy dreamy walnut banana oatmeal that I've posted in a previous vlog, but I thought it'd be fun for us to do virtually together because we can't be together. I wrote out like what everyone needed if they wanted to cook with us as well, because I don't know how many people are gonna actually be with their moms this Mother's Day, which is pretty sad. Are you gonna be with your mom this Mother's Day? Let me know. Look at this girl. Look at this cozy snormy. What are you doing? I'm gonna go freeze some strawberries and prep my ingredients for our live stream. Hi, you go. Ugh, love you. So I'm just cutting up the stem. So I'm just cutting off the stems of the strawberries and then putting them in a freezer bag. I know plastic. If anyone can tell me what kind of freezer bag that I can use that is not plastic, please let me know because I'm trying to lessen the plastic in my household for sure. But this is what I'm just doing this morning. Oh, I also want to show you the most stinking cutest ever strawberry that I found in my little strawberry bowl. I mean, is this not the most precious little strawberry you ever did see? Look at it! It's so little! I think I love little strawberries more than the big ones. They just bring me so much more joy. I love small things. So cute! I think I'm gonna make some chocolate covered strawberries before I go live with my mom and vacuum clean this right here for sure. It's just constantly is getting dirty. Anyone else's stove tops just become a mess throughout the week. I'm gonna do that really quickly and then I'm gonna go live with my mommy. So 
here are my chocolate covered strawberries. They added some bananas to some of them. So it's kind of like a banana split. And then I had excess chocolate that I did not want to go to waste. So I just kind of made like a mud pie chocolate and threw some walnuts on top of it. And it'll be like a little chocolatey wafer treat for dessert one night. It looks pretty good to me. Now I have to wait for them to harden, which is the worst part, but they're gonna be real delicious. You'll eat the banana ones first because you don't want the bananas to turn brown, and then the other ones you'll eat, you know, another day or all in one day, you know, whatever you whatever you feel like. All bits. Okay, whatever you wanna do, boo. All right. Half small bits and half slices it is. Here we go, ah, shit, oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. <laughs> Hey, we just finished a live with my mom, and now we're gonna go get her zoomies out on the beach, aren't we? Come on, get excited. I could stare at you all day, girl. You're fogging up my glasses. Well, uh, that was a fail. The beaches are not opened. Everything was blocked off. Like, all the places you could park alongside the beach were completely closed. So Stormy did not get to get her zoomies out. We're hoping to get her in the backyard and play with her a little bit. I'm going to make some lunch and I think I have enough content to end my little weekend vlog here. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. I'm gonna try to pop out some videos the rest of the week. I have to get my camera fixed so I'm gonna try to pre-film so that if I can't use this camera then I have some videos while it's getting fixed. We'll see, fingers crossed. I realize that the lens now, the like little thing that opens and closes is also broken. So there goes my money, honey. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I love vlogging. I felt like I hadn't vlogged in a really long time and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.